Good morning, this is Crypto Queenie, aka Bitcoin Evie, and I'm coming at you with some crypto um, related stuff. And I'm also trying to give you guys some feedback about where I've been over the past few months. I basically have been traveling a lot. Um, I have been to Mexico and I have been all over Mexico. Um, I have been to Chicago, my hometown, and I have been to Baltimore where I have a godson. And uh, basically I've just been, you know, pretty much, you know, trying to be with my family. Um, there's been a lot of stuff going on with me over the past year where I've shifted a lot and I have gone through <laughs> enormous changes. So anyways, I um, wanted to come with you to talk to you about a little bit about the stuff that I have been up to. Uh, where Bitcoin is at, what we're doing, and where we're progressing to. So, first of all, I want to say that um, Bitcoin has been at like 8,000 to 8,300 over the past week. And um, this morning I woke up, it was at 777. It's now at about 7850. And, uh, you know, it shifts all the time. So we get the ups and the downs and, you know, all arounds. <laughs> but, um, you know, we're so early in the adaptation of uh, Bitcoin and blockchain technology. And I want people out there to understand, you know, this is why I'm so passionate about it, because it's going to be changing the world. And, you know, supply chain, as we see it right now, as a medical logistician, I can say, I see those changes already. I constantly post stuff on my Facebook with stuff that I read all the time. You know, it's what I do as a hobby. And um, I also trade long term and uh, sometimes I shift depending on how the market flows. Um, I just tweak it a little bit back and forth. Um, I do do some short trades as well I have in the past and I've been successful with them. But recently since the uh, market's been, you know, down, then we kind of have to play the hodl game, you know, hodl gang, hodl gang, hodl gang. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so where I want to say is uh, there is a lot of ICOs out there. There's a lot of different things that are going on. The SEC and the SAFT um, have been more active and they have their own team now uh, where they are starting to, um, you know, just try and play with the technology to try and see how it can possibly help us in the future and for them to better understand it. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about that because, you know, as you know, I'm an Air Force veteran. And so I always, you know, opt for my country to win. <laughs> so um, hurrah t Trump. <laughs> but anyways, um, so last night I was talking to this kid that like was like, yeah, I want to be in the Air Force, you know, and what do you recommend? All this other stuff. And I get that a lot from a lot of people who are trying to join the military and stuff like that. And I give them my two cents, you know, computer science engineering is going to be a big factor in the future. And so, you know, I wish, you know, I can get into it. I started um, playing a little bit with Python on the solo app and, um, you know, I pretty much flew through it the first day and then I did it twice, you know, for, I don't know, I ended up logging in with like two different, you know, usernames. But anyways, you know, it was pretty fun. Seemed simple enough. Um, I wrote a small little caption of line, you know, I threw it on my Facebook and <laughs> it was fun. Um, yeah, I'm a nerd. <laughs> but, um, you know, the reality is that this is uh, what we're coming into is like uh, the amazement of different things that are going to be from peer to peer. And uh, I'm excited for it. You know, um, I really struggle with how I see that the banks um, try and take a hold of your money and they have, you know, the jurisdiction over it. There's you, you really don't have that money until you have it tangibly tangibly in front of you, you know, in some format. And that's one of the hardest things that I had to learn, you know, is chain of custody. So depending on who has that chain of custody, then you're, are you really entitled to that property? You know, that's the hardest part, you know, and I learned that as a medical logistician because I had to do war reserve material and all this other stuff. And it really bottles down to like, how fast can you access it? That's what it matters, you know? And so, um, <laughs> 
it's amazing how fast you can access crypto. Technology is outstanding. Um, uh, that's majorly the reason why I got involved with smart contracts. I used to do contracting as well. And um, acquisitions, you know, I'm an acquisition guru. That's, you know, what I learned how to do when I was in the military is buy and sell. <laughs> So thank you to my mentors and to the Air Force and to a bunch of people out there in the cryptocurrency world that have tried to give me their two cents, try and give me the feedback so that I can get more involved in the community and stuff like that. And um, thank you. I really appreciate it. And uh, I also appreciate, you know, all the sympathies for, you know, um, my grandma's passing away and my mom, you know, being not so happy. Not so glee as she normally is. She's always happy and gleeful, and uh, she's a very cheerful person. And it's sad, you know, when my mom's not all there the way that she normally is. Because I know she's a great person. She's always a happy person, and my dad is too. So I'm I'm happy to have been able to go with them. And uh, cryptocurrency allowed me that chance to be with my parents and mourn and celebrate my grandma, rest in peace, and my grandpa. So um. Uh, I'm really grateful. But uh, besides that, you know, um, just chucking along, reading, trying to understand more what my space will be, what I, what I will be doing, you know, more so. Um, I do consultations, you know, I do support for cryptocurrency. I do wellness tr um, consulting as well. And I'm also... Um, a big advocate of cryptocurrency and so like I like to show my um, passion all the time so I wear Bitcoin socks kimchi socks is a company that you know a friend of mine actually uh, made and it was based off of basically you know just us gearing in and he's a veteran too so um, Jason is his name and uh, Holmes Jason Holmes is his name and Kimchi Socks is a company. You, If you have passion for cryptocurrency and you want to show it and you need some socks to show that, just contact me and I will try and get a hold of him and uh, talk to him about, you know, trying to get you a good deal on some socks. And uh, I will leave the link underneath for Kimchi Socks. And um, I know I got to get myself a new pair because I've been wearing the heck out of mine <laughs> all over, even in Mexico. Yep. Yes, that's me. <laughs> I literally like was wearing my socks at a political Mexican affair. Mm -hmm. And guess who was talking to them, talking about, do you know what cryptocurrency is? <laughs> yeah, me. I'm always the one talking about cryptocurrency. Some people get tired of it, but the way that I see it is I just, I got to sound the alarm. You know, I got to try and teach people what I know, if I can, if I have the time, if, you know, I have the passion for it. Why not? While I can, you know, but also I'm looking forward to new opportunities and trying to figure out um, where I fit better in this cryptocurrency world because, you know, it's so near and dear to me. Um, it's helped me out in so many different ways. Um, just, you know, even like when I first started like learning about it, I think it gave me something to look forward to, to challenge me. I felt like, you know, going back to school was probably important because I couldn't find a job and uh, I was overqualified for a lot of positions and underqualified because I don't have my bachelor's degree, which is something I'm thinking about getting in the future. But uh, the reality is, you know, this is now cryptocurrency is now the time to get in to understand it to try and relate to it if you want to get one leg up to me you know it's now so um with that being said i <laughs> leave a <at> bitcoin <laughs> and um if you have any comments questions uh concerns uh you need me to make some new material i've made a few i think this is probably a better you know version of it and i you know, don't look too shabby today. <laughs> but um, honestly, you know, uh, I am open to new opportunities and I am looking forward to, you know, just building. I'm ready, you know, it's time. So, um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Crypto Queenie out and 
Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ciao.